there's bread bags, there's tortilla bags, there's bubble wrap, there's um, grocery bags, there's fruit produce bags. But all this type of soft plastic, uh, we're taking it and you know repurposing it. This is the classic any bag, and this uses 95 single-use plastic bags or two pounds of plastic, depending on the weight and the density. This is the first bag that we launched about a year ago, and we are in my factory in the heart of New York City, and we've been here for 40 years. And I'm gonna show you how we do the any bag. One night I was taking out my garbage, my trash, and I turned around and I said, you know, what's, what's happening with this? Where is it going? And I started thinking about the other eight and a half million people that live in New York City, and that just blew my mind. Uh, we're predominantly leather bag makers, leather manufacturers of accessories, trims, components. So we are artisans at heart. We are luxury designers, luxury makers. And from that skill and that trade that I've been around all my life, I came up with this idea of why not taking plastic and manipulating it and transforming it into something better. We'll start to prepare all the plastic by sorting by size, by weight, by density, and then we just heat seal it from end to end, making one long continuous sheet. And then we'll strip that down in two and a half inch to three inch strips, sometimes one inch strips, depending on the density of the plastic. And that is what gives us almost like a, a long plastic yarn. So what, uh, what Sony has here now is she's taken all the plastic strips that we've done, already and she's rolled them up on bobbins and this is where we weave all the plastic this is no different than any other loom that use that, that's used for any other textile from cotton to denim um, to making woven leather it's just we took it manipulated it rigged the machine to work with the plastic if we didn't have this machinery the capacity the ability um, to work with all the materials that we work with i don't think this would ever been able to come to life so once it's completely woven we take it off the loom and this is what you get almost a mosaic if you want of using all the different types of plastic creating a one-of-a-kind look you could pinpoint exactly which neighborhood the plastic came from what bodega the, the plastic came from what store it came from so every bag has a different story With the ban in New York City, um, personally, I thought it was one of the best things ever to happen. However, the way they uh, applied it, I think, was just, it wasn't thought out right. Uh, you know, they gave us a deadline saying, okay, this is the last day you could use plastic. But what happens with all the inventory that all these stores had, all these uh, companies had, all these, uh, you know, little boutiques and bodegas? So I started going around collecting plastic at the very start. And we, you know, just started picking up plastic from, you know, corner stores, uh, the Rite Aids, uh, Home Depot, anywhere I could go and be like, you know, what are you doing with your plastic? I'll take it off your hands and repurpose it. And there's nobody like us in New York City. This is as authentic as you get when you talk about New York. So this factory was started by my father, Pierre de Bog, in 1982. He immigrated here from Lebanon during the Civil War in the late 70s and came here with nothing but $300 in his pocket. He, to me, in my eyes, he is the epitome of the American dream. He did this from nothing, built this from scratch. Until I sold the first any bag, he did not believe in this. He was like, you're wasting your time, what are you doing? And again, I totally get it, he's 70. He, they don't really think about you know sustainability and all this and they never really learned that growing up you know growing up in school for myself it was the three r's reduce reuse recycle but now when you actually dissect that there's so much more to that and it's actually reuse reduce reuse recycle isn't really the end all be all there's so much more to it just because it's you you know against the world doesn't mean you know, what you're doing won't leave an impact. Every little thing we do 
is a big impact. It's a step in the right direction.